Um, one thing I wanted to say though, is, is that I get a question a lot about it and everybody's like, should I get the nano VNA or should I get a different SWR meter? And, um, technically they're two different things, mm -hmm. right? So nano VNA is an antenna analyzer. Uh, and that means that it uses one of its ports to do a reflection, I think it's called a reflection coefficient or an S11 measurement where it creates its own signal, sends a signal out. And then based off of what returns or reflects back into the nano VNA, it can give you certain data points. You can also do the same thing through a device under test, like a two port uh, test. Antennas only have one port, so you'd only use the one. An SWR meter is used in line with your radio. There you go, look at that, Jim. Um, is used in line with your antenna system and your radio, yep. and your radio is what sends the signal. You cannot filter a radio signal through a nano VNA without destroying a nano VNA. It's a, it's a low power device. So if you want to have something in line, giving you real-time measurements as you're operating, you use an SWR meter. If you're building or constructing an antenna, you want to use something like this, which is an antenna analyzer. So I hope that's helpful. Maybe and this little... is, Ape, Ape made an outstanding point. So with this, this particular, and this is not a high-end one, this guy's rated for 200 watts on the power side, and it has three ranges, 15, 60, and 200. And then you can measure either power output real time or SWR real time. Now this was, what were these things? About 40, $60, somewhere in there. I, I think the remember. 40 is what I paid. And, you and that's can the get, same one that MFJ rebrands, right? Yeah. It's rebranded well, by a couple people, yeah. Yeah, a lot of them rebrand it. Um, and there's, there's a whole range of needle analog SWR power meters out there and a price range all over the board on them too. Thank you, Vern. So, Thanks with Vern. um, I have the uh, MFJ, and I can't remember the model number, the digital one, sitting next right, to my radio, right. kind so, of round looking one. No, 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 the square. Oh, 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 the square room with the yellow SWR. with the black display. I, I like that one. I got you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the one I have next to my uh, next to my gotcha. station. I have to say, I, I have, I have the Mini sixty also. Um, I like to take that when I go, if I go like on a pack trip like soda or something like that if i'm if i'm trying to build light because it's pretty small it's not especially light but it's small but i would say most of the time for myself when i'm antenna building i grab the uh, the rig expert because of the this it's just super easy mine's the like one of the originals and it's uh, it doesn't it doesn't do what some of the new ones do and it's just super easy and fast for me yeah it it is and <clears throat> and the comet one <clears throat> i guess that's mfj is a super mm -hmm. nice analyzer too. It's about three fifty, and I can't remember the range three fifty, and I can't remember the range on it. It goes to four forty. The comet does. Yeah, it's, so it's, HF. it's not an MFJ. It's not an MFJ though. It's comet. Yeah. Okay. It looks comet. like the MFJ. It looks like it, but it but the batteries actually last on the comet, which I heard that everybody I've ever talked to on the uh, on those MFJs, which are, are they've been around forever, but yeah. I hear the batteries don't last very long in those. Now the right. MFJ, reason, that's the bigger one. That's like a plain LCD display and no color, right? And that's the what the comment looks the like. Color. Yeah, it has a color yeah. screen. Yeah, yeah. And it does the sweep, so it's 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 like the uh, it's like the Rig Expert or a VNA. It does do a sweep. What's kind of cool about that one is you can do multiple sweeps when you make a change, and just and they and they will stack. Mm -hmm. When I remember how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but you, 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 MFJ has other ones that have more graphing capabilities, yeah, color screens, and so that you don't have to get yeah. the shoebox, right? Right. Um, I used to want that shoebox so bad. The one that TO is always using. Well, yeah, that was but, uh, that was I'm it. That was the best it. thing out for a long time, you know. Yeah. yeah for well, sure. that there was nothing before that. I mean, that I think that was the first. All right. Yeah. I, ah. or, I mean, and I have a bunch of I've I've got like a nice Daiwa that I use for. Uh, for a XWR meter and power oh, meter. Look at that. 